Welcome back to Ugly Truck. Today, we're gonna make some brackets and mount up this coolant reservoir. All right, uh, the thing about these pesky LS engines is uh, you've gotta have coolant in them, okay? Yeah. Yep, uh, <laughs> they uh, require that uh, reservoir bottle over here on the side if you don't wanna do anything fancy to make sure they have coolant in them. Uh, that's the easiest thing to do, I think, is to uh, take like one of the OEM bottles and, and mount it right here. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make the brackets for it, uh, which is seems to be like a big problem for a lot of people. We're gonna show you how you could do it with a welder or without a welder. Uh, we're gonna use a torch, but if you didn't have a torch, you could probably do it without a torch too. Probably. Right? Yeah. But you're definitely gonna have to have a drill, okay? Uh, juice doesn't feel well today. Oh, juice. Uh, My goodness. We don't know what her problem is. Um, today is uh, me and Emily's second wedding anniversary. Aww. So Emily's feeling out of sorts a little bit. <laughs> so she's wondering where she went wrong. <laughs> okay? So, let's get into building some brackets, and uh, then um, if we get it done in time, maybe I can take you out to dinner. Oh. All right? A year ago, we were doing a 1970 engine. Yep, yeah, we were right putting over. the 5.3 in the 70. So. Yeah. All right, the reservoir bottles, okay? Uh, this is the one that we're gonna use today on this one. That's the one I like on uh, the square bodies. I like the little notch in here. It kind of helps me out with the air conditioning a little bit, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to make some brackets to mount this thing where I want it. And there's also this style of bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is the same one that's on like, uh, we have a 2008 GMC and that's its bottle. Yeah. And we also use this one on her 70. Yeah. So um, I can't remember exactly why we did, but usually it's a, a, a space thing, okay? Yeah. Because it is a little bit thinner. Yeah, but, it's a little narrower. Yeah, but I just like these because I think they're like, they're super solid and where they mount is really solid. Yeah, um, yeah, they're a little and, beefier than the other ones. Yeah, and when we mount this thing, it's gonna have three points uh, of contact where it's mounted. It, it's mounted here on the back, it's mounted here on um, this bolt, and then it mounts here also, okay? Okay. So when we're done, it's going to have uh, three points of contact. Just like being on a ladder, you're always supposed to have three points of contact. Yeah, it's so, OSHA approved. Yep. And all the other brackets that we're gonna build for this truck, it's gonna be the same thing. So, okay. Because if you just do two, then the thing's gonna flop around. It gets a little wiggly. Yeah, okay? Okay. So this one is what we're gonna use, all right? This was just for demonstration. Yes. Okay. We're gonna do the whole thing with, uh, this is uh, eighth inch thick, uh, three quarter wide steel, okay? Uh, this is eighth inch thick, uh, one inch wide, okay? I picked it up at Menards this weekend. Lowe's, all those stores, they have that stuff. Yeah. You go buy some of them. They'll be marked with a color on it that'll kind of give me an indication what they're good for. Yeah. But these are this is pretty strong metal and it is great for welding and that's what the color code on them will tell you, okay? Okay. Because we are gonna weld on these, but uh, you don't you know you don't really have to, but if we were gonna weld on them, we could have done them out of aluminum probably. Ooh, it'd be they, pretty. They sell them, you know, aluminum strips just like this. So mm -hmm. all right. Okay. So, how are we going to do that? I don't know. I was hoping you knew. Okay. On this truck, uh, normally when we do this, by the time we do this, the engine is in the truck. Uh, we're going to do all the brackets on this truck, and we're going to have the computer mounted. We're going to have the, um, the fuse box mounted. Uh, we're going to have everything mounted in this thing before we even put the engine in on this one. Sweet. And, um, the way, the way I do it is like when I finished up another one, I just take measurements of where, where they're at, okay? Yeah. So on this one, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna measure in from uh, this spot on the radiator support. We're gonna measure in 
17 and a half inches, okay? And then we're gonna measure from this point in, and that's where our the center of our coolant bottle is gonna be. Okay. All right? So, basically, 17 and a half to the center right there, right? Okay. And then 12 and three quarter, okay, to the center. So I move it in a little bit, okay. I'm gonna hold it and then Emily's gonna mark off where the this bottom bolt hits the center wall. Yep. All right, okay. back there, so. So give me a second to get it where I want it. Two and a half right there. And 12 and three quarter at the center. Hang on one second, double check it. All right, so right there, make a mark on the inner fender well on that first bolt. Okay, so I can't get my pen in there. So I'm gonna mark the center line this direction right there. and that direction okay all right so then we can intersect our line kind of and right there should be our bolt hole right i hope so okay we'll see if it doesn't work, we'll find out, right? Yes, so. Okay. All right, so you're rolling? Yep. All right, so the the spot on that, uh, where that mounts, it's nice and flat, you know? Yeah. Plus it sticks back here a ways. And that, that fender is like on an uphill um, path, right? Yeah. So it's not gonna sit flat on there. So just goes, I'd like it to be perfect. Come in here. I give it kind of a, a flat spot to sit on, okay? Okay. Fit up there. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Use a center punch. Quarter inch, I'm gonna do all these brackets with quarter inch. Okay. I gotta build, I have to build it up just a little bit. It needs to sit up just a little. So I come in here with a long quarter inch. Um, I go and put a flat washer on each side. And I build it up the, the thickness of that uh, nut. Okay. I uh, put another flat washer on it. Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the reservoir down on it. And this is just temporary. When we're done, I'd put a lock washer down on it. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of gonna hold it in its spot. All right. Okay. While we work on the rest of the uh, brackets for it. Okay. okay. Cool. I just leave it like that. You can't leave them going downhill like that. Oh. Okay. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna tighten it up just a tiny little bit. Okay. That'll help it hold a little by flattening the uh, 
the fender down a little bit, it's sitting right on the bolt and not on the plastic on that thing, okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna mount that baby right there. And, and so, and then we're gonna basically make this level, of course, right? Okay, cool. Okay. This is where the tape measure comes in, okay? And you can hold them up, and you can tell, you can kind of eyeball them where they're level, where they look right. Okay. Okay, does that look fine? Pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna measure down to that uh, fender well, and it's five inches right there. Okay? Okay. So I wanna make a bracket that goes from, it'll bolt on right here, It'll come straight up. It'll go across. It'll be bolted into that right there. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to shoot over and it'll be uh, sitting on this fender. So it'll have two two places on the fender that it's bolted to and then just one on the reservoir bottle. Okay. But it's five inches up from that. Okay. Okay? Cool. So let's bend the bracket. All righty. All right, so I only need about an, an inch to um, put my bolt through that bottom bracket, okay? And then we said five inches up, right? Yep. Okay. So basically we're going to put a, a 90 in that one. Okay. And then a 90 in this one also. Okay. And hopefully by the time we're done, it'll be about five inches. Turn your bottles on, that's very important. Mm-hmm, works right. better. Mm hmm Good. All right, so I'm gonna heat this baby up red hot. If you didn't have a torch, you could do it with a, a put it in the vice, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, bend it over, hammer it over. It'll probably maybe even look a little nicer. This stuff bends. Bend's pretty easy. I'm gonna use a vice grip. Yeah. Not a sponsor. So, bend a 90 in it, right? Okay. Cool. And then you're gonna lose a little bit of your five inches in the bend, so I'm gonna look at my line. Okay, so I want to go a little inside my line that I'm in. Okay. So, heat it up again with the torch. Set your torch down in a safe spot. Yep. And there you go, another 90. Right? Yeah. So, if you bend 290, it will not make it. 180. Oh, you're all pretty good with math. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, cool it off. Okay. So, I can't stick that thing down there now, but I can kind of get, if I set the bottle where it's going to go, and I, I can get an idea of how long it's going to be, all right? Okay. So it might come over to the firewall about to this length, looking straight down at it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to cut it off right there. So, all right, so it almost works right there, but all I need to do is heat this piece of metal up right here, and I'll put a little bit of a bend in it, and it will make the contour uh, to hit that uh, inner fender flat, 
Okay. okay. Yep. So, but I'm going to take and mark where this is at. All right. Okay. Just so I can move the bottle out of the way and mess around with it while the piece of metal is hot. Okay. Okay. You do it with white. The white one would work better. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Sweet. All right. So this is where you don't want to screw up. You got to bend it the right uh, direction. Okay. So my clamp of vice grip on there. And I'll use this one to make my bend uh, upward. And I could I could almost bend that without, you know, heating mm -hmm. it up. But why not use a torch if you can? Yeah. Right? Fire. Fire. This is also like why we don't use wood carts. Yeah. We use metal carts. Uh, we did use wood carts for a while, but. They got uh, expensive. Yeah. Know? Yeah, when they catch on fire, they go. Yeah. <laughs> How's that look? Okay. Think it's close? Huh? I think it's steeper than that. Let's move our heat away from the truck and we'll check it. Okay? Pretty close. Needs to be bent up just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Okay. I think that'll work. Cool it off before you gotta mess with it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's we can dry everything off now and we'll, we'll mark where the piece is actually going to sit and then we'll drill some holes all right okay okay all right so i want that bottle to be um to bolt into it right there at that edge okay, okay. so let's we'll drill that first hole we'll drill that hole also it doesn't really matter but we know it's going to be on the center of the bracket right there okay okay so we'll drill this one we'll drill that one and then we'll mark our um, inner fender for its holes. Okay. Yeah? Can you do the other one already and then... Yeah, we could do the other one too. We may as well just drill all three of them in this. Right? Okay. Okay, we'll drill that one that the tank goes, goes on and then uh, we'll drill this one also. All cool. right? be done with that. Sweet. So we'll use a drill press. Okay. Okay. You can do it with a hand drill though. This is a little easier. I'm gonna wear gloves. Ooh. Okay. They're safety conscious. You get tired of getting cuts all the time. Yeah. It's not super precise, you know. If it was I'd center punch that. This thing will Drill through that, no problem.
Bei dir oder? Good, it's so good. Let me pull a piece of metal out of your hand. Right? Right. Safety first. All right, so. There's that bracket. We're gonna bolt the reservoir right here. Uh, then we're gonna mark where it meets up with the uh, inner fender well. We'll drill those and that one Basically, it's been, been up and done. Sweet. Okay. I'm just going to temporarily bolt the bracket to the reservoir. Okay. Okay. So that'll hold it from moving for just a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, just eyeball where that reservoir sits. It sits, um, what, what would you call it? Parallel with, with that and at a 90 degree angle from the fender. Yep. Pointing straight towards the engine. Okay. So those two marks mark that. Okay. Right. And uh, I see it's sitting kind of facing downhill right now so like when I bent the when I bent this bracket mm -hmm. I got it a little short but I can I can build that up underneath it with either another piece of metal yeah or a washer or whatever and bring it up just a little bit okay. all right but it's real close so but if there were a couple washers underneath that you'd never know yeah okay okay but if it was too, if it was too long, you can't really fix that. Yeah. yeah. So if it's too short, that's better. It gives you a little bit of adjustment. Or you could put, you could put the washers underneath your uh, brackets at the fender too. But I just put them underneath this one. Yeah. That's, Hide them a little bit better. Yep. Yeah. Center punch your holes. My the center? Also, when you do that, mm -hmm. if you got a really long drill bit, yeah, you got to be careful not to drill a hole in the tire. So that, that's a great time right there. That's two points of contact. Yeah. Okay. And it flops around that much. And you definitely don't want that. Yeah. Uh, it'll break break the bottle. Plus, if you have a uh, something like that that moves, it can it loosens up heater hoses and um, yeah. all, everything that goes to it. So you don't want anything wiggling. That's why uh, we're going to do a, th a third uh, spot on it. Sweet. Okay. Okay. But when I do these brackets, I weld the nuts to them so I don't have to hold them with a wrench on both sides. Okay. So we're going to fire up the welder and I'm going to uh, put a tack on the welds on, on these sides. Okay. Sweet. I'm just going to tack them and then I'll weld them with them off the truck. Okay. okay.
Okay, so at that point, it's, it's kind of adjustable, you know? I'm gonna end up raising that up just a little bit with a probably another piece of eighth inch steel underneath it. Okay. Okay, but that won't even be, won't be visible. But now we gotta put the bracket on the back of it, okay? Okay. All right, so in order to do that, I kinda get an idea of how long it's gonna be. I go down uh, to the fender well, up to the top of that piece, and it is about two and three quarter inches, right? Okay. At the most? Yeah. Two and three quarter? Now, this is where we take the bottle off. Okay. All right. This is where the three quarter inch comes in. Uh, three quarter inch just about slides up into that notch. All right. Okay. So what we have to do is take a grinder and we're going to grind this piece of metal down to that shape where it fits in uh, up into that notch. Okay. And it is super close, okay? So I just take some off the edges. making a popsicle stick. Yeah. Okay. You push it in all the way. And come in here again. See where I was at? And I said, what did we say? Two and three quarter? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to make a mark at two and three quarter. So I want to bend, I want to bend it in a little bit on this side. Uh, so it'll end up being two and three quarter, right? Because of the radius of the bend. Okay. But in the event that you did it too tall, mm -hmm. what would you do? Just trim it. Yeah, you could just grind off the end of it until it sits nicely. Yep. Okay, so we're going to bend it back here. Hopefully it'll be about the right height. But if I did get it too tall, um, you could just grind it until it fits perfect. Sweet. Bend it at a 90 degree angle. Okay. All right. Cool it off. And check our measure. Okay. So. Maybe just a pinch long. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Well, like I said, on the other one, shorter is better. On this one, longer is better. Yep. Okay, so cut it off. You just need enough length on it for another quarter inch bolt. So there you have it. Sweet. We'll clean it up while we can. It's got some slag on it from welding. Eye protection. Alright, 
So, you could do it um, with it that direction if you want. Mm -hmm. So you could get to the bolt easier. Or you can do it underneath if you want. This direction. Ugh. Right? Yep. Okay. And it is a little long. All right. Okay. So I need to trim it a little bit. And we can drill the hole. Which way do you want to do the hole? On this side or out here where we can see it? This looks nicer. Yeah. I agree. We'll do it that way. Okay. I'm going to trim it off a little bit. Then we'll drill the hole. Then we'll mount it, clean them up, and we're done. Sweet. Okay. Just taking the sharp corners off of it, okay? So it, it's gonna sit up in there like that. So now I gotta drill a hole right there for a dot. Okay. Okay. All right, so it's not, it doesn't really matter all that much where, where it ends up on this thing. So I'll just try to center it. So we're gonna put it in the bottle, right there. We're gonna sit. Grab our marker. Set it on its two spots. Line it up with that one, and I'm gonna mark the corner where this one's at, okay? Got it? Okay. I'm gonna set it where it was. And... Mark for my hole. Center punch it. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, get make it a little bit more flat, okay? So on this one, we, we don't want to have to get to that nut, so we're going to do it from this direction, okay? Okay. We're going to hold our piece together. We wouldn't even really have to do it on the truck, but so we're going to attack this bolt, okay? Okay. So while that one's cooling off, let's check the other one out. Look good? Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna put the bolts back in them because I gotta weld them up again some more. 
and having the bolt in it just protect it from getting slag in it from welding. Okay. So it's still hot. Okay. So I'm going to add a nut on this other side. So they're all done. Cool. Uh, you could do that without welding the nuts on the back of them. Yeah. Uh, it's nicer when you go to put it together. Yeah, I just think it's easier. So this one just has a stud welded to it then, all right? Okay. So that one will just get a nut and a, a flat washer up from below. But all I gotta do, yep, is clean them up a little bit, take all the sharp edges off of them, make them look good. Then we'll bolt it back into the truck here. And we'll take a little bit of paint to them. Sweet. Make them look a little nicer, all right? All righty. Okay. So let me do some quick grinding on them and we'll put them in. Right, so I just clean them up. I take, get rid of all the sharp edges on them. This one real quick. Set that one straight. Cover the threads on that one. Okay. Oh, so this is just primer. Where's that drip from? There. Oh, no. It's just water. Hmm. 
been working on uh, cleaning up this engine compartment already. Yep. And uh, scraping it and taking a wire brush to it. And we're gonna clean this thing up, make it look real nice. Uh, this just black uh, primer. Okay. Okay. under that side slide it down onto that third bracket has one knot, nut and washer that will hold it on this side okay okay and get both Yeah, so there it is, all right? Sweet. And then you see how much sturdier that is? Having that third spot that it's sitting on? Yeah. Is not moving, so. Yep. It's perfect. All right, so that's it for the um, the brackets for that uh, recovery bottle, okay? Okay. Um, the way I did it with this one, it gives you a little bit of adjustment. Uh, this bottle is probably going to need to come up just a little bit, okay, looking at it uh, level-wise. Um, don't forget that the, the hood hinge is here. Yeah. That's why it doesn't get uh, set back any further, but that's also uh, the spot that the hoses, the original equipment hoses, hit it the best. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, but you do, on, on any of these, no matter what year it is, there's the, the hood hinge that comes in, and this one folds in, and it sits right about here. So you have to have that clearance there, okay? Yeah. Uh, so, and then in the case of, if this was up too high on the back side, you could trim that off a little bit, okay? Like I said, so that, that gives you some adjustability in the thing. Okay. Uh, looking at it like this, you would think, hey, why don't you put that bottle up a little higher? If we got in there, and we close the hood, uh, it is, the way it's sitting flat on that fender like that, it is very close to that uh, pad, the padding yeah. on that hood. Uh, so that that is about as high as you can put them. Just put, it, put that bottle right on the inner fender well. Yep. Okay? Cool. All right, so that's how we do the coolant reservoir bottle. Uh, if you have an easier way to do it, we'd love to hear about it. Uh, up next for this truck, uh, I've got to put a, a power steering gearbox in it. This one is leaking, so we have another one to put in it. We probably won't show you that video, but uh, up next we will mount the uh, fuse box. Okay? Yes. On the left hand fender, and then probably after that we will mount the mount for the computer, okay? Okay. And in the meantime, I got some more cleanup work to do on this, and I'll be cleaning it and uh, making it look nice. Yep. We hope this video helps you out. We really appreciate you watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks.